welcome back everyone my name is sagar and we are back here with another video so hectoberfest is here and we are here with the complete guide for you to start your journey with hectoberfest so without making any further ado let's get started So first of all what is Hectoberfest so it is an annual festival which promotes open source practices and uh, also you can see here open source projects maintained by community minded coders makes the modern internet function supporting that essential work and the folks behind it is what Hectoberfest is all about so the main motive of Hectoberfest is to promote open source practices and for doing this you will also get some amazing free goodies but this time not for goodies you have to do it for yourself so promise this thing to yourself that you will not participate in Hectoberfest just for getting a t-shirt but instead you will participate to learn to engage with amazing open source organization and to start your open source journey so first of all i will drop this link in the description hectoberfest.com and you will be at this page and after that click on start hacking and after that there are these two platforms github and gitlab we can just use any of them to host our projects but uh, it have much more functionality than just hosting so i will just go for github and click on initiate and after that you will just see some page like this so here fill out all the necessary details and after that you will log into this page and here you can see your github profile and here it is so down here you can see your progress that is 0 by 4 so let me just tell you the whole process of hectoberfest so this event will start from 1st October and ends on 31st October. So within this period, that means in October month, you have to make 4 valid pull requests. So it can be any of your code PRs and this Hectoberfest also support non-code and low-code PRs. So PR basically means pull request if you don't know. So in very simple words, let me just tell you. So suppose there is some very huge project out there of some organization. So suppose there is some application out there and you know that you can contribute to it. You can add some functionality or you can fix some bugs out. So what you can do first, you can just make a clone of their project. That means you will just create a copy for yourself. And after that, you can just make some changes according to you. And after this process, you can just tell that organization that you made some changes in their project and request them to accept your changes in the main project so that process of telling and accepting is called as pull request so within this four months you have to make four of such pull requests and obviously your pull request need to be merged in the main project and only after that it will be counted here and after this let me just show you some more terms and conditions so here in this participation section you can see here there is a value section and here you can read all these things and uh, let me just tell you about important things so these are some important things that you have to remember so first of all re register anytime so registration so registration is started from 26th of september and after that you can see pull request can be made on git and gitlab so you can just find out some project which have that hectoberfest label and and after that project maintainers must accept your pull request for them to count your total that means obviously your pull request should be merged and here is the thing you have to make four accepted pull requests between October 1 to October 31st. And after that, here is the condition for pricing the first 40,000 participants, maintainer, and contributors who completes Hectoberfest can elect to receive one of the two prices a tree planted in their name or the Hectoberfest 2020 t shirt. So after your participation in Hectoberfest, either you can get a t-shirt as a prize or you can plant a tree in your name. Keep that thing in mind. This time, not for t-shirt. You have to do it for yourself. Don't waste your time if you just want a t-shirt. You can just labor out 3-4 to four hours and uh, buy a t-shirt for yourself. But, uh, but don't waste your time in creating fake pull request and uh, get a t-shirt. So this time just participate and learn and plant a tree for yourself. And after this section there you can see some resources for beginners. There is some github guide and all this stuff. And here you can also see there are some repositories that you can start off with. So let me just check this out. So what is it? A uh, little of so some beginner friendly projects. So you can see here there are all languages Java, Python, Kotlin, PHP and you can just check all these things out. I will just uh, give that link in the description. So after that there are some more resources to learn and uh, after this. So here are some details about your pull request. So first of all this your pull request must be created from 1 to 31 and your pull request must be made in a public repository so you can just create a pull request in your private repository remember that thing and after that there are these thing repos that go against hectoberfest values will be extorted qualification and pr made to those won't count 
and after that your PRs must not be spammy so that means you don't have to make fake PRs just simple as that so make legit PRs and just learn the things on the go so here the pull requests that are labeled with the label containing the word spam by maintainers will not be counted and they are using this node.js regex and PRs that also have the Oktoberfest accepted label cannot be marked as spammy and pull requests that have been merged and do not have a label containing the word invalid cannot be marked as spammy via label okay so there are some straightforward things that you don't have to make a spam PR or or if you are making a spam pull request then the maintainer of that repository repository means that project you can understand so the maintainer can mark your pull request as spam and here you can see any user with two or more spammy pull request will be disqualified so that is a very important thing to notice so if you are creating spammy pull request and more than two of your pull requests are labeled as spam then you will be disqualified from Hectoberfest. so just don't do this thing and after that there is a thing your repo should be tagged with Hectoberfest or be labeled as Hectoberfest accepted and your pull request must be not labeled as invalid and your pull request should be merged also and after that when you created a pull request then it is merged so it will be accepted for Hectoberfest after the 7 day review period so after creating a pull request just wait patiently and it will be eventually accepted if it is not a spam so there are some another things to reduce spam so there is the same thing and your pull request should be approved and a bad repos will be excluded so you should not make PRs that are just useless you should not remove some white spaces or just add some profiles just for time pass or just for getting those t-shirts so repos that encourage simplicity PRs like adding a name or profile will be disqualified will not be counted so just remember that thing quantity is fun but quality is the key okay so after that there is some statement for low code contributions and there are something for maintainers so you can also register as a maintainer and there are some rewards for maintainers so that is it about rules so now let me just tell you about the surprise so we have the one repository that you can use to start your open source journey so i think you already know this and that is our dsa repository so we are building the largest dsa solution repository together so I am maintaining this repository from a very long time. It's been I think uh, one year almost. So what you have to do first uh, you can just come to this readme.md and uh, here you can see we are building the largest DSS solution repository. So here you can find your particular solution for your DSA problem. Currently we are only supporting lead code, GFG and interview bit. So here you must read out this stuff to find your particular solution. So first of all you can press T to just open the file finder. So I will just press and uh, suppose I want to search out some problem that is a nine divisor so that is a problem for from gfg platform and here you can see nine divisor dot cpp solution and java solution is also here so you can just click on it and you can just see the solution so that can be a very helpful repository for you and uh, you can see here there are already a lot of contributors in this repository and i am also personally contributing three codes per day one from interview bit one from gfg and one from lead code platform so you can just start this repository if you found this helpful and this repository is open for contribution so you can just start your open source journey with us so you just have to share your code and if that code is correct then we will just accept your pull request 